hi in this video I'm going to show you how to do an I chord cast on um, I do have another video that shows a continuous I chord cast on where you want the I chord to continue up the sides um, but in this case we just want the I chord at the bottom <clears throat> so to do this kind of I chord um, we start by casting on three stitches and the three stitches will form the I chord at the bottom you can use whatever you method you want to cast on three stitches and then keep the three stitches on your right hand needle and bring up your left needle and we're just going to transfer these three stitches back um, as if we were doing an I chord <clears throat> and then to cast on more stitches we're going to yarn over in between creating the I chord so it's really just a simple yarn over on that first needle and you do want to keep it a little bit tight if you can um, and then knit across those three stitches So now I have a total of four stitches on the needle, but the three stitches on the bottom are going to get transferred back to the left hand needle every time we create a stitch. Then we'll do another yarn over to create a stitch and then work on the I chord on the bottom. So then transfer those three stitches back, do a yarn over and knit across the bottom. Transfer them back, do a yarn over, and knit across the bottom. And now you can see the stitches, um, these stitches have been created. And then when we get all the way to the other side, we're actually going to cast off these stitches. And I'll show you that when I get over there. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going to attempt to show you if you were using, if you were knitting, um, knitting with the yarn in your right hand, which I'm a very awkward at, so please forgive me, but basically it's the same. So you start um, by doing a yarn over and then knit across those three stitches. It's just a little awkward um, to start with a yarn over, but that's what you need. So then you transfer them back, transfer the three stitches back, <clears throat> and then do a yarn over to start, and then knit across those three stitches. <laughs> but same idea. I'm actually a little bit tighter um, when I knit that way on just on the cast on. <clears throat> but it's the same thing, you're building up stitches across as you go and continuing with your I cord. Okay, right. when you get to your final stitch, um, then not include, you don't count any of these three stitches. These were just for the I cord and we're gonna actually cast those off. So on your final stitch, just do it like normal um, and knit those three. And then instead of slipping those three back, we're gonna turn and bind them off. And to the bind them off, I, I am actually just gonna knit, knit two together and then bind one off. So I'll purl those two together, purl the first two together and then purl the next stitch and pass that stitch over. And then we have to do that one more time. So purl that stitch and pass it over. And now since in this pattern, I'm just going straight into um, purling a whole row, that, that's okay. If your pattern stitch was different, you might wanna do something different with that first stitch. But for me, I'm just um, going to purl along and then you'll have a nice I-cord edging. Thanks for watching.